Why lentils are not proteins? Do you think lentils are protein packed superfood? Well, it is not entirely true. Here is a shocking truth. Lentils contain only 9% of protein but 20% of carbohydrate. That just double the amount. If you are a vegetarian, watch this entire video. I will explain science backed evidence of why lentils are not protein. I will also explain what other protein rich food you have to focus on. If you are new to this channel, I am Dr. Chitra, weight management specialist and a GP. Let's start with a fact. According to the research, 100 grams of cooked lentil contains approximately 9% of protein but 20% of carbohydrate. That's more than double the carb compared to protein. This is based on the verified nutritional data from the USDA and similar global food database. Just look at the table. It shows the real nutrient value of lentils. Of course, lentil has a lot of protein compared to all the other plant-based food. But most of the calories from the lentil comes from the carbohydrate, not from the protein. So what is the difference between carbohydrate and protein and why it is important? Proteins are made up of building blocks called amino acids. These amino acids are essential for muscle repair and growth, bone health, hormone protection and blood pressure maintenance. And they help you to lose weight. On the other hand, carbohydrates are long chain sugar molecules. Lentils contain complex carbohydrate. That means it takes longer time to digest and it releases the energy very slowly. But end of the day, carbs are still sugar. To qualify as a protein rich food, most of the calories should come from the proteins. For lentils, 70% of the calories comes from the carbohydrate, not from the protein. That means lentils are called as a complex carbohydrate, not a protein food. So, which vegetarian food is high in protein? I'll give you three vegetarian food which has very high in protein. First is edamame bean. This you can buy from the, any supermarket frozen section. You can easily cook this by steaming or put it in the microwave for few minutes. You can make curries for chapati or use it as a salad. See the nutritional value of the edamame bean. Of course, it has a carbohydrate but this all come from the plant source. That means it has a lot of fiber that helps your digestion. Next is a soya sprouts. You might have seen this one in the supermarket but we never thought of buying it because most of us don't know how to cook this. Most of the Chinese recipes you can see that they use as the sprouts as a main ingredient. See the nutritional value of this vegetable. It has a high protein content and lots and lots of fiber. I found so many recipes in the YouTube which is made purely with soya sprouts. Third one is a dry soya chunks. This we might have come across and used but very little amount. See the nutrition value of this dry soya chunk. It is easy to store at the same time you can make plenty of recipes with a soya chunks. Especially it's very delicious when you eat with a rice or chapati. They are all complete vegan options and you can make dishes in few minutes time. These are the three recipes I usually make it takes only less than 5 minutes. Subscribe to the newsletter. I will send the recipe details to your inbox. To conclude, lentils are fantastic food and nutritious mix of complex carbohydrate, fiber and protein. But they are not protein rich food. To get the best of the lentils, pair them with the other high protein food like edamame bean, choya chunk or bean sprouts. If you found this breakdown helpful, subscribe to this channel thumbs up and please do share this video with your friends and family. Together we will make a healthier community. Take care. Bye.